We all are excited about investing. You must have heard people saying that they want to invest. But most of them spend less time knowing the simple process of investment. I would highly recommend knowing the basics of investment process before you even start investing. So, I will talk about the basic investment process in this video. I assume that you already have a clear understanding of different asset classes such as real assets and financial assets. If not, you may want to check my previous video where I discussed real and financial assets. The link to that video is given right here and in the description below. Investors make two types of decisions in constructing their portfolio. The first decision is the asset allocation decision, which is the choice of which broad asset classes to invest. Investors can create different portfolios by changing the percentage of funds in different asset classes. For example, you may want to invest 60% of your money in equity, 30% in bonds, and 10% in treasury bills. Same way, you can also invest 25% of your money in equity, 50% in bonds, and 25% in treasury bills. If you change the percentage, it becomes a new portfolio. Which mixture of investment is better depends on your preference, risk tolerance, and your investment styles. Bear in mind that primary determinant of your portfolio's return is how you allocate your dollars in different asset classes. The second decision is the security selection decision, which is the choice of which particular securities to hold within each asset class. In this case, you need to do a security analysis to find the security that you like. For example, if you want to find a stock to invest in, you might be doing company valuation to find the undervalued stock or other types of analysis to find the growth stock. Again, it depends on whether you are a value investor or a growth investor. There is no preset rule as to which one comes first. When constructing your portfolio, you can either start with security analysis and then asset allocation. This is called the bottom-up approach. Or you can start with asset allocation first and then security analysis. This is called the top-down approach. Whatever approach you follow, your portfolio return will be driven mostly by asset allocation decisions. The reason is that asset returns are guided by risk return trade-offs. As an example, stocks are riskier than bonds and thus can earn you a higher return. Now that you have some idea about the typical investment process, the next question on your mind could be, what average return can I make if I invest in equity? To know the answer, you can check out the next video, the link of which is given right here and in the description below. So, I hope to see you in the next video.